Oh. Not that mama showed up at the flea market. Uh -huh. Now, really. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. You're watching Just a Mom That Sims. I'm KT, and I'm here today for another Herd Family Legacy Adventure. This is a Sims 4 story, and if you like to have fun and you like to have a good time, please consider liking, subscribing, following, commenting. Just do all the things. I am starting off this episode with Lena and Kate. A, they are on a date, an early morning date, because it is 7 a.m. The kids are all asleep or just waking up. They made sure that Carly, the baby, was taken care of before they dipped out. <laughs> and they are on a date because of Lena's aspiration. They also enjoy spending time together. Don't know who this Rando Sim is. Lena needs one more goal level date with her spouse in order to complete this branch of her aspiration. And it may be the last branch, but I'm honestly not too sure. I do apologize if my voice does not sound the same. I am still fighting a cold. The other thing that is going on, K A still needs to read to a child for um he doesn't even need a whole hour. It's just a part of an hour. So he'll do that. But he did get that last skill point in his that he needs for the fitness level nine to get his next promotion but his job performance is not great probably due to some kind of pop-up option that happened but i'm gonna send lena over here to see with ka because we need to get a gold level on this date the only time i really care about it is because it is in the aspiration so i'm gonna have her sit and talk to ka while he cooks they're gonna talk about marriage and she's gonna talk about done because done is still hanging in there and in a bad mood she is going to tell a knock knock joke a joke with your date should count for socialization as well ka likes jokes and he really likes lena's jokes as corny as they are and she's teasing him about being handcuffed to her but they are a happy family let's see if i can get her to get one more joke in she doesn't know many so she'll joke about fashion she is a stylist after all and she's telling a joke about wearing red shoes with the red dress, even though that's exactly what she has on. So let me get them to get into these deep conversations because that should be the last thing that they need. I think they should hit the gold medal from there. It would be good to end this day early. Oh my gosh, she's here. I'm trying to get in our date. I think if we just ignore her, it should be okay. <laughs> they are at a... Uh, Go metal. Lena is going to try to give them a massage because it looks like that's just the last thing that they have to do for this date. So why not? Her knees are looking good. So I think we're going to end this date because they spent quality time and K.A. really needs to get some rest before he goes to work at 2 o'clock. We are back in the herd household. I was wondering why they are not in school, but it is a Saturday. So that's why. <laughs> And their grandmother, Tuela, is sending them birthday gifts. Little Carly is getting a milestone. She set up, and that is so great. How Carmen help her try her first baby food after this. Leland can go jogging because he needs to work out for eight hours. He needs two more hours of workout time. They are trying the first baby food, Carmen and her little sister. They look a lot alike, too. Carmen can really put her to bed. Gabriel is going to read under the covers and build his creativity skill. His skills are looking so much better, but we do need to work on his mental skill. For his adopted status, we're really happy to see that his social is thriving so much. The baby sleep. So the triplets are going to take care of her today. And then I'm going to have Liliana come refill the horse feeder. They are really using a team effort method today. KT is out here grilling, and she's actually grilled quite a bit, so I'm going to have the kids start coming on and eating one at a time. Liliana is going to go jogging as well. The media is begging for an interview, but KA wants to warm up for the game. He's going to do the interview because we had this pop-up before. He got a small performance game, so I'm really hoping we can get his job performance up. If we can get K.A.'s job performance up, then, oh gosh, Gabriel. <laughs> if we can do that, then he might get promoted tomorrow. Let me set him to work hard today. He's tense already, so we're going to dig on in. He is really having fun in his rocking chair. 
Waylon is talking to Carmen because he's trying to get her to sit down with their parents with him. What he really wants to do is get her to help him ask for a new room or room remodel. For Leland, it's a serious affair. He really, really wants this room to be redone. They are hugging it out. Dunn is riding between them. Thinks she wants to be part of the conversation. They're agreeing that they're going to talk to the parents together. But Leona's going to go eat. Lena has made it home and is right on time because she should be out of the bathtub by the time the baby wakes up. I have the family sitting here. Carmen and Leland are asking their mom, Lena, about spending money to redecorate their rooms. And Carmen is just talking about her interest and she's getting a little closer so that they can have a discussion. And it looks like Lena's saying that that will not be a problem at all. But they've had this family discussion about it. And Lena really needs to get just a little bit of rest. So we're going to pause right here. And when we come back, you'll see the redecorated room. We are back. This is the girls' updated room. You'll see that we have split the room into three ways. So over here, you've got an area that looks the same. But I did make this wall a little bit higher. And you can see a toddler bed here. That is for when Carly edges up. Because right now, she's sleeping in her parents' room. And that is not going to be a viable long-term option. <laughs> We gotta get her little booty out of there. Now, you can see that we've got her bed. I left the toy bin and the chair, and she's got the dollhouse. And I moved the little kitchen over here to her side of the room. Here is the girl side of the room. I've got a wall to split between them, a low wall, to give them a sense of privacy. It's probably a false sense, but it's a sense. I did them an accent wall here, changed their curtains to match the gray walls. They're ultrasound and birth certificates are still up you can see on carmen's side she's got a aquarium she's going to go ahead and purchase a fish and she can name the fish her fish's name is bubblegum over here on liliana's side she's got a little speaker i've got this modded cassette table i put a chair here rug that's modded and a tv and the friendship bracelet kit now if we go over here to the boys room I needed to keep it a little bit kitty looking because Gabriel is still in his room. So I kept the bunk beds. Leland has a new pattern. No, you do not get in the bed, smelly. Get up. <laughs> we got solid blue walls and you can see this accent wall here. I left the art set, but what I did add here is a easel because Leland likes to paint. So that is the remodel rooms. Lena has gotten most of her rest of, so she's going to come get a plate, and she's going to ask K.A. about his day. He's come right in cleaning. I do think he should get something to eat. They do have a maid, but I haven't seen that maid in so long. I don't know what's going on with that maid. After this episode, we will probably do a time jump. So here is Lena's brother, Joshua. Lena is going to come say hi to her brother. If you're new to this series, Lena's brother was trying to get at her husband for years. And Lena does not know that. But K.A. was just about to tell her because it was getting worse and worse. He kept trying. But then finally, Joshua just stopped. And if you notice, K.A. did not sit on this couch by Joshua. He gave him some space. <laughs> He said, he said over here in the chair, the baby's up. So let me get Lena to get over here and she can actually introduce the baby to her uncle. Lena's here for her girl. The other thing that I definitely want to show you because Leland, their son, who is the oldest triplet, he is on a bodybuilder track. So they did buy him this old used weight equipment. They've got 96,000 simoleons, but they've got triplets. And then they've got two other children. They got Gabriel and Carly, who at some point are still underage and they will need to provide for them still. The thing with Leland, Carmen, and Liliana is they want to send them out with enough funds to get their first apartment and make their living at first. To do that, they need quite a bit of funds. The girls have been talking to their parents and saying that they are going to live together. So they would like to send them with 30,000 Somalians. Leland has been saying that he is going to live in a different place by himself. And so they would like to send him with at least 22 to 23,000 Somalians. So if you look at that, they will already cut what they have and more than have. So they have been aggressively saving 
and really doing their best to keep their money in the house. Carly is just so cute to me. Oh my gosh, she was a surprise. They were adopting Gabriel and Lena found out she was pregnant, which she was just shocked because, oh my gosh, she didn't think they were able to have any more children. Naturally, conceiving the triplets had been hard, but there it was and it happened. So that's how we ended up at a full house. Let's check on Dunn over here, who is just very hard to keep happy with her fun level ever since she got resurrected. Yes, Dunn is a resurrected horse. K.A. is going to come and harvest once he finishes cleaning up. They use this food to offset the cost of their food. I think these are glitched because it's showing that they can evolve, but they're already magnificent quality. Oh, gosh, Lena is sick. She's got orange and green spots on her. That cannot be good. We're going to try to get her some medicine because that looks like some gross version of chicken pox. All right, we got her medicine and she yeah. can take it. Lena did want to talk to Joshua and she will because she wanted to know what was going on with him. Well, he's leaving. She did want to ask him because he did not show up to their father's funeral. Maybe it was just something that he could not handle at the time. They were really surprised that he didn't show up because of how close him and his father were. So Lena has been healed. Let's check the fridge and see what food we have because in this house, it's just important to have a lot of food available. This fruit nectar is worth 4,000 simoleons. So Lena had all of this nectar from her father. At some point, we will need to transfer the inventory, KT's inventory over to Lena and KA. KA is talking to little Carly. And what Lena is going to do is pour two servings. I guess Lena's cold in here now. This nectar is so old. It has been available since Lena moved out of her parents' house. That's when her dad gave it to her. She'll stick this in the fridge. She's going to drink some, and K.A. is going to drink some. He's still over here spoiling this little girl. Lena just finished taking medicine. She probably should not be drinking. Oh, and Liliana, she's our spoiled baby. Liliana does need to take her bath. We need to find something that she likes to do because right now she's just spoiled with high self-esteem, which is a good thing. Oh my gosh, our infant is glitched. She was possessed for just a moment. K.A. is swirling that wine. He's going to go check on his mother-in-law. Girl, please go to the bathroom. Like, I always wonder what's wrong with my triplets. Sometimes they act like they don't have autonomy. K.A. is here. His fun is low as usual, so he's going to tell K.T. an engaging story. He just wants to check on her because she hasn't come around in a couple of days. He wants her to know that he hasn't forgotten that she's back here. We're going to do the reinforced spring while you're in while we're here. That should keep KT from accidentally getting killed with the Murphy bed. KA did not get all the fruits and things off of these trees, so I will have him harvest again when he leaves here. It is family and friends day. KA has been hunting for eggs already. He's going to try to get this bed because he does not want KT to have a mishap. She's enjoying his visit. Family and friends day, you're really supposed to have fireworks. You are supposed to visit friends, hunt for eggs, art and music spirit, and barbecue. KA's fun is going up from fixing the bed. He does love handiness. KT is still sad he lost her husband, Jordan. They had been married for 45 years. Then she moved here. So that was pretty tough for her. It's a good sign that she's cooking again. K.A.'s fun is going all the way up from fixing. K.A. is home, and he does need to get some rest, but he hasn't spent much time talking to Gabriel lately. They are kind of back on this tag team parenting, is what I call it with Lena and K.A., where they each make sure that they spend some quality time with the kids. So he just wanted to give Gabriel the best hug ever. I see Carmen is over here autonomously working out. Lena does like to paint, actually. It's something that she used to do a lot, but it's meeting her art spirit. Liliana is watching a comedy show, so her comedy level is a level two now. Uh -huh. So I will let her keep watching it, but she could come and hunt for some eggs and at least meet that qualification. Let's go to the flea market. You know what? I think the girls are going to go to the flea market. Lena's going to wear her coat if she don't do anything else. She hasn't breastfed in a long time. So she's going to go ahead and breastfeed little Carly. It should be interesting because Lena's got special talents breastfeeding with all the clothes on. Can I reset the curfew now? Since the kids are teenagers, we'll set the curfew for 11 o'clock. And I'm going to have Carmen come over 
and she's gonna ask to go out. They're having a, a three-way bathroom conversation oh as is normal with my sims. Lena has told them that they could go and they are squeezed into this little bathroom. The girls are here at the flea market and they look cute. I'm going to have Carmen take a picture. Not that mama showed up at the flea market. Now really, she showed up. <laughs> That's funny. Now she gave them permission to go. Then what did she do? <laughs> she showed up anyway at the flea market. Liliana's telling her like, mom, you know we'll have to move out one day and be on our own, but Lena is not thinking about them. She's like, yeah, but it's not today. She decided she was going to come and check on them. They could come over here and eat at the flea market. Haggle. We got to haggle. We got to save money where we can. I really love Carmen's outfit. Carmen is a little bit shy. Definitely more introverted. Liliana's coming over. Liliana's the outgoing one. Both of their haggling went well. I might as well have Lena come on over here. It's no point in her pretending like she's not with them because <laughs> she showed up anyway. Look at the sisters. They're so close. Now, Liliana and Leland have a tough relationship. I think I will bring him here. He could come over here and eat as well. He'll come around in a second. The girls are taking pictures and they're showing each other. They're just having a good time at the festival. The girls are going to come and watch the performance. Lena is going to tell her son that she's going to trust them. Oh, gosh. It's too spicy for him. <laughs> she's going to go on home because she did do the parental pop-up. The girls have been debating about how they want to live and where they want to live. Liliana has talked about living in the city. Carmen doesn't know about that. It's not completely out of the picture because she's a bookworm and she can find things to do in the city. She would maybe like to live somewhere a little smaller and prettier. Their town they live in now, Newcrest, is pretty small. Sometimes they do the howdy introduction because their mom and dad are originally from Chestnut Ridge. Carmen is thinking that when they get old enough, maybe they could live in Tumarang or even Sulani. Liliana wants to go to the big city. If they cannot figure it out, they may have to split ways. Wherever Liliana goes right here, she just wants to be the belle of the ball, the center of attention. Carmen is dreaming about fairy tale endings. I think deep down, Carmen is a romantic. She's gonna come over and haggle because all she's been thinking about is when she gets old enough, what she's going to get. She wants this chair. She's just been kind of collecting things for her future apartment. They're over here shooting around. Carmen still got it now. Remember, she used to be her dad, K.A. She is nailing some buckets, even though shooting ugly. That's it. The girls are going to call it a night and get home because they definitely want to make it before curfew. This is their first night out. Oh, gosh. She's freezing. Carmen was freezing to them. So we're going to get her in and get her to bed. Leland is getting out of their room, hopefully to go to the bathroom. Lena and Ka are talking. She's just telling him about how she popped up on the girls and what they were doing. He's agreeing that they are going to have to trust them more and let them get out. They are a little concerned about Liliana because they know their kids. They know that Liliana is a little unpredictable. They have decided to put some faith in them. So I do think as Ka feeds little Carly. Dad, this is where we're going to leave off the episode. It is cold here in Newcrest. It looks like the snow has come. Next episode, look forward to seeing that time jump. So until next time, remember, keep simming, be happy, and always have a blessed day. Bye-bye.